a very warm welcome to all our viewers and in this video we will be looking at excel automation in uipath stay tuned till the end of the video we will be discussing excel automation in detail and at last there is a hands on demo if you want to know more about uipath then you can check out our uipath tutorial let's look at today's agenda we will start with understanding what is excel automation and why do we use an excel automation what is the necessity of using it also we shall look at some of the advantages of excel automation then we will jump in uipath studio and see how to install an excel package and see some of the commonly used excel activities finally we will look at hands on demo but before we begin if you love watching tech videos then subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure you press the bell icon to never miss an update what is excel automation excel automation is a task automation involving excel files studio x enables the creation of automation project involving various types of data from an excel file using various specialized activities to create an excel automation we must use excel file resource when creating a new project that includes excel an excel file must be specified within it so that all of the subsequent actions can access the data contained within that file why use an excel automation uipath allows you to automate excel in various ways such as excel application scope activities and workbook activities excel automation simplifies your application by performing tasks such as formatting cells updating values and running macros automatically excel task in automated process can also be integrated with several other functions across the enterprise using an rpa solution the benefit of excel automation in general is that it can save people many hours spent manually completing tasks advantages of excel automation productivity Excel automation provides higher production rates and increased productivity. Efficiency. Some of the functions of Excel can easily create automated tasks and custom logic with functions like macros. Macros are an excellent way to save time on predictable, repetitive tasks. Hence, Excel automation is efficient. Better product quality. Excel automation improves quality in several ways. including eliminating human error increasing consistency and accuracy the ability to create more complex projects and the detection of mistakes along the way improved safety excel allows you to protect your work whether it's to prevent someone from opening a workbook without a password to grant read only access to a workbook or to simply preserve a worksheet so you don't delete any data reduced labor excel automation will perform all the repetitive tasks more accurately and productively than humans thus reduces labor reduced lead time a lead time is the amount of time that elapses between the start and finish of a process excel automation reduces the lead time let's look how to install an excel package let's jump into the ui path studio to install an excel package go to the manage packages You can see the packages that are installed. Go to all packages and search for UiPath Excel activities. By default an updated version will be installed. If the Excel package is not installed, you can install it from here. So in my device this activity is already installed so this is the place from where you can install any activities or any packages let's see some of the commonly used excel activities these are some of the commonly used excel activities read range select range save workbook auto fill range copy paste range insert and delete columns So insert a, inserting a column at the specified location in a sheet or a table or a range and to delete a column you can delete it from a specified range or the table there are filters filter table so what filters does is you can use the filter action 
to create a filter in a range table or a sheet based on the values in a single column. We also have VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, which stands for Vertical Lookup, is an Excel feature that when enabled, searches and retrieves data from a specified column. We will explore all of these activities in the demo section in detail. Let's look at the demo. In this demo, we have an Excel sheet that has a record of COVID cases in five states of India in 2021. So we will create an Excel automation to represent the number of cases in charts. It's easy to understand looking at the charts rather than looking at the huge numbers. Then we will upload the file on the drive. So let's jump into the UiPath Studio and get started. This is the Excel file which I have created. It has all the number of cases in these five states in the year 2021, the month of Jan, Feb, March and April. All this record, I have taken it from a website called prsindia.org. So I have two sheets, sheet 1 and sheet 2. So let's jump into the UiPath Studio. To start off with the demo, we need to have the three packages installed. One is the UiPath Excel Activities package. The other one is UiPath gsuit.activities. This activity, this package is used for drive, to upload on the drive. Then the other package is Balareva Excel Activities. This package is used for bar graph and pie chart. So after installing these three packages, we'll get started. So let's create a new sequence. Name it as sequence two. So first we'll drag and drop an Excel application scope. So Excel application scope, what it does is it opens an Excel workbook and sets the scope for Excel activities. When this activity is completed, the specified workbook and the Excel application are closed. When the workbook application variable is specified in the output, workbook activities field, the spreadsheet is not closed. After this, drag and drop a create table activity. So by default, we have sheet one and enter the range. So the range is in this Excel sheet, the range is from A1 to F5. So enter the range. For this, we need to enter the file path. So we'll select the file. So we have selected the file. We have entered the enter the table name. Say number of cases. So once this much is done, next we'll drag and drop a bar chart. Drop it outside the Excel application scope and select the file path. So select the file. So select the file, select this cell range, that is the same range what we had entered earlier. A1 to F5. So once that is done, keep the chart title, say basis, and you can select the chart type, bar stack, 3D cluster, 3D stack, whatever is required. For now, we'll select bar cluster. We have many other options to explore. data label type will keep it in show value so that it shows the value and select 
शो वैल्यू वॉन्ट शो परसेंटेज विल सिलेक्ट परसेंटेज विल सिलेक्ट शो लेजेंड एंड साइज यू कैन वेरी द साइज अकॉर्डिंगली फॉर मच एवर यू वॉन्ट सो आई विल कीप द साइज एज थ्री फिफ्टी टू थ्री फिफ्टी यू कैन चेंज द वेथ so the bar chart is done and you can enter the sheet which sheet are you using so it's sheet 1 now we will drag and drop pie chart select the file similarly enter the options here enter the cell range the same range a1 is to F five show percent will show value show legend select show value. and select the sheet which you want we'll select the sheet 2 so done so we have completed till here next we need to upload this on the google drive so we'll select this option upload file select the file we have selected the file so select the destination folder for that go to your google drive account so we will go there so in my drive i have created a folder called excel automation so i'll copy this url till here not the entire copy this and go to your ui patch studio and paste it in the destination folder with the double quotes then create a variable and create a variable as file oops there is an error we have forgotten to use a g suite application this can be only used inside a g suite application so drag and drop a g suite application and inside g suite application we'll write this so the error is gone so we'll run the file now we'll save it and we'll run you can see the file is getting run so the execution is ended we will navigate to the drive so here you can see the file is successfully uploaded we'll open the file it's working on the graph here you go here you can see the bar graph for the sheet 1 with the values number of values and each state wise and for sheet 2 we created a pie chart so here you go here you can see the pie chart if you have any doubt any queries please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section we will try to answer all of your questions so with that we have reached the end of this video 
like and share it if you found it interesting thank you for being here keep learning and stay tuned to simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.